Hi, my name is Justin Riffle. Um, like I said in my intro speech, I work at Mammoth Cave National Park. And I'm just going to give you a little background on Mammoth Cave and what the National Park Service does for us. Um, the National Park does many things for the environment and generations that are in, have already passed and are coming up. So they do things such as they give pathways program out for college students. They have the uh, passes for many different age groups, and they also do the lead program that's environment for helping the environment. So the pathways, which is what I'm part of, where I work at Mammoth Cave National Park. Uh, the Pathways program is where they give a college student a job at National Park Service for as long as they're in college. So as soon as they get out of college, they lose a the job. Um, but they give you all the benefits of permanent uh, employees, such as you get to work full time during the summer and then part time during the winter. And then you also get paid holidays. So if you don't work the holidays, usually you get paid for them. But if you work, you work on the holidays, you get extra pay, so it's double pay. Um, and it also helps you if you want to get a job in the National Park Service and you're already on the Pathways program, that helps you get jobs in the future for the uh, National Park Service. If you have the Pathways under your belt, that gets you top of the list when they want to get a new job. So you get ahead of all the other competition. And all my information that came about the Pathways program came from the National Park uh, website, so nps.gov. Now that I've told you about how I got my job, but what is the park doing for the environment? So the LEAD program is what the National Park Service does, and that stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. So this basically is the about the building that they're in the uh, National Park so the visitor center that the parks have and the part the building at Mammoth Cave has some uh, very unique things that it does like most buildings they have solar panels they have solar panels to run their lights but they also have something unique they have where the rainwater catches on the roof and it flows into a tank that runs the uh, toilet system, so flushes the toilet and stuff like that. Um, at Mammoth Cave, this is where I got my information. At Mammoth Cave, they have a list that tells all about what's the different um, environmental things that they're doing to help the environment. So Mammoth Cave was a, a gold lead certificate, so they're at the top of the list as in how good they're doing for the environment and their building was. So this building was built in about 2010. So it's a pretty new building, so the environmental stuff should be up to date. And the uh, lady that wrote this list was Vicki Carson. Uh, she works at Mammoth Cave. She's been there for a while. And I had a little bit of talk with her to see when she wrote it and stuff like that. But now that you know how the park's helping the environment and generations as us, so how can we go to the park? Or how can we get in the park for a cheaper price? So the passes are a way that uh, the National Park lets people in for a discount rate or at a free, or it's free. So the National Park has about five passes. It has the annual pass, which is good for military and regular people. The annual um, Golden Age pass, the access pass, the fourth grader pass. So the annual pass lets you in for entrance fee parks, gets you in the entrance fee parks for free. Um, militaries get them for free, but for regular people, they are usually about $59. A Golden Age Pass is for people over the age of 62. You have to be at least 62 and have $10. That's how much this pass is. And it gets you also into entrance fee parks for free. But at Mammoth Cave, since we're only amenities fee, which means we sell tickets that we have to, it only gives us a discount. It's a half off on the ticket. The uh, access pass is a permanent disability pass. It's for um, if you have a disability, they get into the entrance parks for free and they get a discount at Mammoth Cave. Um, the fourth grader pass, it's a new pass this year. It uh, gets all fourth graders into the 
an entrance fee park only for free. So at Mammoth Cave, we don't do anything for the fourth grader pass, but all other uh, entrance fee parks, you're allowed to get in for free. Unfortunately, there is no rate for college students, as in free or a discount, which sucks. But if you did get an annual pass, which is $59, you can go out west and stuff like that to uh, get in the parks for free. Um, if you go to Mammoth Cave or any other national park, they usually have brochures, which is this one right here, which is an, uh, American the Beautiful, which is where I got all my information about the different passes. And they should have them at all national parks. Just ask for it and they'll let you have one. So in conclusion, as you can see, National Park has been working hard to preserve the beauty of our country by keeping the landmarks in the hands of the people that will take care of it. So the government has been taking care of the national parks for a while and it has been the people of generations that have been taking care of it. And now it's our turn to take care of it. So we have to start taking care of these national parks and keeping them in our country. So go visit a national park soon and gain some knowledge of what our country has to offer and what you are helping save. Thank you. And do you have any questions?